What's good, video pros? Welcome to part two of Camera Lenses Simplified. Now, we did do a part one, so if you want to stop at this point, go check that out first and come back, or you can just continue on from here. Alrighty, so let's get ready to jump into it. Alrighty, so we're back, and we left off talking about, you know, having the option to buy adapters to attach our old lenses to our newer cameras. Now, again, they work great. The more you spend, the better, but you know, there are some setbacks when doing so. So keep that in mind whenever possible, you know, and you have to, I wouldn't recommend getting rid of your lenses, especially if you got a big selection. Do not do that. All right, so we're gonna place this one back. And you always wanna remember to put your caps back on Put those caps back on and again, before you close off, maybe brush things off just like that. Now, so we talked about prime. We talked about our standard basic lens. We also talked about this one here, but let's break down what we see on this lens for my M50. Here we go. Okay. All right. So this one is a Canon zoom lens as well and it is a EFM. So again, EF, electronic focus, M. All right, so basically has the same lettering or numbers here, 55 to 200 millimeters saying I got 55 and then I can zoom all the way out far to about 200 millimeters. So starting at 55, all the way out to 200, which is good to have yourself a nice zoom lens, you know? Um, so this actually uses a electronic autofocus as well as a manual focus by touching it on the screen. So I mentioned earlier, some of these lenses have it on body. I'm gonna put this one up here because this has a little bit more detail. Let's keep it moving. All right, so there's my lenses that I use on my actual Canon M50. Now, as I mentioned, as you purchase this adapter, it'll fit right here on the sensor. Now the M50, as you can see, it's mirrorless. So there's no mirror in front of your sensor. So be very, very careful when you are putting things on your lens or taking things off. So they say a good habit is to kind of lean things down. So that way, if there's any little dust, anything or wind blowing, chances are that it won't get inside. So keep those things in mind. Turn your camera down and put things back on. All right. So let's get into filters real quick because we do have these step up or step down rings here and you know it'll let you know what size they are this one says you know y'all can't see that 67 to 58 okay so what we have here is our step down rings i have a 58 to step it down to 55 we also have a 67 millimeter to step down to 58 this lens here is a L series lens and I believe the L stands for luxury because this is Canon's best glass inside this lens here As you can see it has a red ring around it now also with this unlike this one here let me unlock it again where you can see the, the components move in and out you see what I mean up and down up and down you can see that you see it going in and out and it's a little noisy you probably hear that too now in this one if i'm zooming in or zooming out there we go at 70 all the way up to 200 but as you can see it's in body it's inside of the lens and you can see nothing is moving on the outside not anything coming out of the top 
but inside is actually moving. So these are a lot more expensive, but worth it. So I recommend whenever, uh, get yourself one of these with the red ring for luxury. Uh, that's Canon's best glass and things that look a lot more crisp. Trust me when I tell you. Um, and this is also uh, good for wildlife. Uh, and again, like I said, I can zoom out to about 200 millimeters, zoom back into 70. Um, it also uh, has the automatic focus as well as the manual focus. So I hope this helps y'all out a lot when it comes down to lenses. So which lens would I definitely have with me on a shoot? I'm definitely going to take this one. All right. Again, this is my favorite lens. It's the L series. So if I'm doing photography or wildlife right here, even landscape works well. I'm also going to bring with me my wide angle lens. So if, you know, if someone wants a photo and they got quite a few family members, I'm going to use this 10 to 18 millimeter. All right. Now, if I'm just going to be doing some maybe close-ups uh, or just a little photography or if I'm shooting in the dark, I'm going to use my prime lens. All right. So those three for me work. All right. But I'm still going to bring along my standard lens, my 18 to 55. So now we're covered. We got 18 to 55. We have a 50 millimeter, which is our prime lens. And if we needed to drop below 18, we have our 10 to 18. And then if we needed to jump up, we are gonna go from 55 right to 70. So what's that? One, two, three, four, four lenses in my bag and I'm covered. Now, the best thing to do is to figure out what type of shoot you're going on what you're going to be doing landscape if you're going to be doing photography and if you don't want to risk having all your lenses with you you know grab a what is it like a 28 to 105 i see a lot of photographers using that so 28 millimeter um, and then maybe your wide angle and you're set all right you know you can drop it down to three lenses because uh, you still want to carry that prime lens all right so again, I hope this helps. Thanks for taking out the time to watch. And remember to capture those moments and do the best with what you have. Till next video, y'all. Peace. Whew, that was a long one. We got some chopping to do. Please leave those comments, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And I'll leave a link in the description to these lenses. So if you'd like to purchase, they'll be in the description.